So the VX4 we expect will bring affordable, emission-free and equitable travel to people from all walks of life across the world. The Future of Flight Challenge is an uh, Innovate UK funded project. Atkins have brought together partners that have expertise um, ranging from airspace management to EV toll manufacturer, ground infrastructure and we've done this to create a proof of concept for advanced air mobility. The Advanced Air Mobility project brings together expertise from ground field and industries to develop key technologies and infrastructure that will help to accelerate commercial operations of electric aircraft and contribute to the UK net zero target by 2050. So eVTOL um, is effectively electric uh, vertical takeoff and landing um, and there are many companies across the world. We're talking here about a new type of aircraft. Yes, it may look like a helicopter. Yes, it may look a bit like a conventional aircraft with wings. But actually, yes, it's both of those, but no, it's neither of those. It behaves completely differently. It's a very different operating model. These aircraft are evolving uh, very rapidly and there are many different designs. So it would really revolutionise um, commuter transport. So uh, when we look at the uh, road infrastructure at the moment, it's busy, it's polluting. This new transport system uh, offers a green, carbon-free alternative to using cars. Um, so not only does it relieve some of the pressure on our existing infrastructure, uh, it's fast, it's green, um, and very comfortable way to travel. The VX4 is an aircraft that will revolutionize the way we travel. But with the increase in UAM traffic, drone traffic, and that's both remotely piloted drones and autonomous drones, coupled with the already steady increase in existing airplanes and helicopters, we're simply gonna need better ways to manage air traffic. Well, we have the aircraft and that's a, a central part of uh, future air mobility, but we need all the supporting infrastructure, we need air traffic management, we need communications, we need ground infrastructure. And we're very proud in Atkins to be able to bring all those skills and to assemble uh, a team that, that has all of the expertise to be able to solve those problems. So when we take the, the vertical VX4 and try and put that into the ecosystem, what problems does that throw up? What happens when we double the density, triple the density? What happens when we've got these cooperative, uncooperative targets come into uh, the airspace? How do we manage all of that? So our role is very specific. We just provide a common data interface for all airspace users as, as part of a community uh, service. But that allows the drone pilots to see the other aircraft and take avoiding action in the exceptional event of a, a conflict. And this will be necessary because without it, the regulator's not, not gonna allow drone flights beyond visual line of sight. So we are the NSP, so Air Navigation Service Provider in the UK. Uh, we're the largest air navigation service provider in the UK as well. So our, our main aim here is to try and integrate new airspace users, whether it's EV tolls, UAS, high altitude platform vehicles, any type of new airspace users into our airspace. Today at the Cranfield University, we are delighted to host a very special event. So today we're going to see the Vertical Aerospace uh, VX4 aircraft um, do a virtual flight via their simulator from Bristol at Cranfield Airport. Uh, we're going we're to stream also the air traffic management kind of software, so the visuals that air traffic management would see. What we're going to do that for is uh, we want to be able to show that we can sense and detect smaller industrial drones, let's say, as well as the the, the, the usual kind of manned aircraft and we want to be able to show them on a single screen so that you can see uh, all of these air vehicles using the same space. We're then going to use uh, some of the automated side of that technology to be able to do things like traditional like flight requests, flight planning, uh, takeoff and landing requests and all that kind of stuff. So the elements of the system all need to come together at the right time with the right level of maturity and that's all about integration. We have been able to focus on making sure that all the elements of the system are ready for integration and that we can actually field a demonstration that's, that shows some of that integration in practice. So today our pilot will submit a flight plan through Altitude Angel's Guardian system. This will be a flight plan that we know conflicts with other traffic. The system will then pick this up, it's going to reject it, and a new route is going to be suggested and accepted. Then the next feature to test will be the digital clearance. 
Conventionally, this would be done through voice communications over the radio with the control tower, but today this is going to be done digitally, again through the Guardian system. Once we're clear to take off, we'll then depart Cranfield out to the north, and a drone flying out in the real world will go rogue from its intended flight path, and it's going to fly into our flight path. Now that's going to trigger what we call a tactical deconfliction, and the Guardian system will kick in and tell the pilot to alter their course through the interface in the cockpit. This one went very well. Um, there's been a lot of hard work behind the scenes. Everything integrated really well. And uh, we even had some live telemetry um, from other aircraft interacting with us as well. Oh yeah, it's really cool. I mean, I'm, I'm a pilot and uh, this is such an exciting project for, for me, you know, personally, uh, as well as being an aerospace systems engineer. So it's great. It's, it's, it's a rare thing in, in someone's career to be able to build a new transport system. Uh, it's never happened in my career before and it probably never will again. We're going to be launching in 2025, that's when we expect our entry into service to be, and they're going to be for everybody. They're not just going to be for the rich and famous, it's going to be an affordable vehicle, an affordable way to travel around big urban cities as well as between cities. Um, it's an awesome adventure and I'm so glad to be part of it.